after the defeat of fascism by the Allied armies, the Italian people, in a vigorously fought referendum, ended the monarchy which had supported Mussolini and established a republic. For the first time in 20 years, the Italian people were free to express their political views. The battle among the parties of the reactionary right, the democratic center, and the revolutionary-minded left was often violent. The nation and the families composing it were torn by the most bitter sort of political disagreement and recrimination. Through it all, the monarchists continued their vain efforts to restore the king to his throne. Only one thing was certain. Whoever won the elections, a new era was dawning in Italy, and it belonged to the young. Or so it seemed. Let's go to the university! To the capital, hurry! yourself? Uh, uh, you an architecture? Yeah. Uh, Me too. Fifth year. Lucky you. You socialist? Yes, of course. <laughs> you too? No, royalist. Oh, I'm sorry. Come on, run. How come we have current? Isn't tomorrow our turn for electricity? I don't know. Something must be wrong. Oh, what's there for supper? Pea soup. Made with real peas? Powdered. Appetizing. I hope there's plenty. I'm famished. Shh. What is it? Your father's in there. He's taking it very badly? Oh. Oh, come on, Mom. It was time for a change. Will you please get it through your head that all monarchies are now on their way out? Most European countries have already given them up. It's no longer useful in a modern society. You see it. Good evening, Pa. Sorry. You well know I am not of the same opinion. Here, read this. The undersigned General Amadeo Flores, in view of the results of the referendum of June the 2nd, hereby tenders his resignation, since he is not disposed to serve the Republic in any manner whatsoever. What do you think? Uh, well, I... There go the lights. Yeah. I guess they realize their mistake. I just don't understand why you have to invite someone here who needs funding to be getting a tea time. Mama, he was hungry. He promised never to bring him here again. No, sorry, I. I'm sick and tired of seeing that commie around this house. Is that clear? Sure, dear. I don't want to see him around anymore. And why not? Because this is my house. I don't like him and I don't want him here. You don't like him because he has different ideas from you. And what of it? Well, what if he's right? Did you hear your darling daughter? These reds come right into your own house and take over. That's why I'm getting out of it. I'm so sorry. You know my father. <laughs> he's not himself these days. Pretty good, this bread. Where'd you find it? Carla! Where the hell are my slippers? Nobody gives a damn about me in this house. Oh, well, I'd better be going. Oh, my book, I forgot. Now oh, I'd better go. Yes, I'd better. Uh, perhaps I can have an apple, huh? Yes or no? <laughs> uh, charming type, your father. When's he leaving? Oh, here, give it to me. Uh, here, here. Oh, why, thanks, but... Ah! Well, uh, <laughs> you're the helpful guy. <laughs>
Thanks. Uh, we'll put him in the back of the car. Uh, the suitcase is gone, Cal. Oh, Senor Farley, you should. Oh, have not gone. at all. It's a pleasure you for us. Ciao. Ciao. Thanks a lot. Well, it happens to be on our way. <laughs> Listen, while you're away, have all the fun you want. But don't forget about giving a thought to your future. Oh, there won't be any need. I already have. Ah, then you accept. No, I, I'm sorry. You see, Valley, I'm on another track. Marco. Be with you. Uh, we town planners and architects of this new association are first aim is to start a new type of activity in the back of the car. That is to criticize and control planning in general. Uh, but for that, we must remain independent. But financially speaking, is it convenient? No, no, no but it's uh, more satisfying. Oh, congratulations again, Senor. The first one there in the brief be a bouncing uh, boy. Uh, we're not planning on children yet. No, let me carry it. It's much too heavy for you. Ah. Poor thing, I feel sorry for her. It's a stupid job. Well, that's one thing we won't have in our house, a maid. Paolo, you talk just like Mark. Mm, you can pay me a nice a compliment. Listen, Marco can't manage to wake up in the morning, dear. That's when you'll find he sleeps most comfortably. And be sure he puts on his wood underwear on the Riviera. It's freezing. Mama, the month of August is Please take care of my Who, me? All mothers are alike. Ciao. Of course, Ciao. Ciao. Marco, quick, we'll miss the train. Come on, we're going to be late. Oh, Marco, I've got to speak to you a moment. Ciao. Thank you, dear. Listen. Ciao. Treat my child well, you must promise oh, yes, me that. Of course. My girl takes after me. We uh, both tend to be emotional well, and then take advantage. Yes, you delicacy. I'll do what I can. Marco, the service. Ah, yes, the coffee. Thank you. Uh, don't you worry, senor. Uh, don't worry. Uh, thanks. <laughs> you well, delicacy. You mean to say your darling mother is Mr. the boy that we've already been to bed, huh? <laughs> uh, ciao. you to see the monstrosity they've built on the Via Appi Antica. <laughs> ah, yes, this is it. Let's have a look. Here. How come they were given permission to do it? The building department approved the construction of only one story. The rest is abusive. But five stories, man. Above and three below. Huh, they even excavated. No, they were catacombs. In my opinion, we ought to make a formal protest to the mayor. Do you think our distinguished mayor gives a damn? People like that only wake up when you hit them over the head, believe me. Who is it? Oh, it's you, my love. How come you've called me? My love, how would you like me to cook you chicken pepperoni for lunch? I've already asked you. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, I'd have plenty of time, don't worry. Um, hold on a minute. Over there to the right. Hello, Mama. Chicken pepperoni is fine. I'll leave it all up to you then, huh? Ciao, ciao. Care. Paula, that's a nice way to cheat your husband. Oh. <laughs> Everything's all right then. I'll see you at lunch, huh? What are those two thieves doing? My famous colleagues? There's only one. Rossi's sick. I see. You're stuck with the village idiot. My husband sends his regards. Thanks. Listen, I have another surprise for you. It's too important to tell you on the telephone. <laughs> Ciao, darling. Ciao. Hmm. Yes, yes, you're showing up. Hey, where's my donut? The Pope ate the last one. Who's paying for yesterday's beer? Uh, Timber, is it true you had it in your resignation? Yes. How come you're leaving? Marco, I've got a family to think of, and here the monthly pay is just barely enough to live on. As a freelance architect, I can earn far more. Well, if we get no satisfaction doing the work we do, if money becomes more important, our ideals fly out the window. You feel that Timbery was right to resign? No, forget it. Oh, if you have any ideals, you have to stick to them. He's got two children, poor guy. Ah, if children are going to represent an obstacle, then why have any? It's also better for the wives. They can work and be independent. That way, the marriage is set on a civilized basis. It's like having a mistress. But aren't you married? No, not really. I'm practically a bachelor. Ciao. Paula. Darling? 
Bala, I'm home. Lunch is ready. Ah, did you get in late from the office? Yes, but I had time to prepare your chicken just the same. Ah, chicken pepperoni is my passion. You're not asking me about the surprise? Huh? Dying to hear. But this is beef stew with potatoes. Huh? Impossible. Why, don't you like it? Oh, madly. Beef stew and potatoes are my passion. Well, it only happened today because I... Did you put rosemary in it? Mm -hmm. Yes, oh, there is. Come in, come in. Finally, my darling boy. <laughs> what a joy to us all. Hello. Angela, come here. What happened? Angela, hmm? now, this is Ephesia's niece. Now that Paula's pregnant, she's going to need someone to help her with the house. Angela will stay here with Children you. Children are a blessing. You see. Oh. <laughs> oh, I got a hard one. It's so marvelous. It's so transparent. Something wrong? You're not happy? Yes. No. I don't know. I, I think so. It's either yes or no. Oh, but that's absurd. That's not the point. Don't worry, my angel. I love my work. I don't intend to. We won't sacrifice everything for our children. No, but Paula, it would have been much better to wait a little while longer. <laughs> How can you be so sure? What if your mother and father had decided to wait? You'd still be a schoolboy. Have you solved the problem of a name for the child yet? If that were the only problem. Follow me, I'm oh. taking the baby hey. to its mother. Hey. Oh, it's this one. <laughs> hey, hey, here. Oh. 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 It's this one. Let me see. <laughs> what are you doing, you idiot? That's not your daughter, it's this other one. And she's much prettier, too. Come along. Pity. Because I got to like you. I'm sorry, but I'm of the opinion that the name Amadea is much, much better. She's born under the sign of Libra, just like the king's daughter. Oh. Oh, oh how perfectly oh. well spelled she is. Who's well, actually? Oh, both her parents are all your parents. Seven pounds, two ounces. Are you sure? Oh, yes, she's here. quite big. Oh, oh, excuse me. How are you, my dear? Paula? It's me. had a very hard time, my poor boy. Oh, not so hard. But if they continue in that direction, they're going to destroy all those trees. Look. Signora, but that's the city plan. I'm not doing anything unlawful, you know. Not only are they tearing down all those trees, but the road is going to cost about twice as much. <laughs> yes, but it will shoot up land values sky high. 
people who encourage this project and are interested in speculation. Well, what speculation? This land belongs to a religious organization. But why? Why are we accepting to be part of this? It's like being part of a swindle. Look, Paola, can't you see that if we don't build here, there are plenty of others who will? Excuse me, but it's impossible to work like that. It's not just a question of building a... Certain ideas, certain principles must be defended at all costs, just like our flesh and blood. Oh, God, the baby. Yes, lunch is coming. Here I am. Yes, my... Lisa, didn't you hear your little brother crying? Where were you? You could have called Angela, no? Oh. Mommy, we were helping the bricklayers. Oh, what have you done to me? Yes, you're right. You're right to let you all We now take you again to Parliament, the back where the ballots are being counted are. to elect the new president of the Republic. Bellino, put that hammer back where you Bronte found it. Bronte is still leading ah. with Ainaldi and Metzagra trading. Here we are. And now Jacqueline is going to have the yum yum. Angela, how come you're so interested in who gets elected president? The program actor has Frank Sinatra. Ah, but... Oh, listen. Hmm. Giacomino's um, comfortum has been my mother's apartment. Would you ask her to send it down? How are you? Fine, signora. Hurry up, Angela. Right away, signora. Right away. Signora Carla! Signora Carla, will you please send down Giacomino's comfort in the basket? How about a comforter for me? <laughs> Thank you. Hey, you hear? That's your papa coming home. Morning. Oh, morning. Would you like some? No, thanks. Morning. Hey, Milo, what are you doing here? You're in the way. What do you got there? He asked for a little piece. But you know you mustn't ask. Never beg. Huh. Hey, no. Besides, if you don't eat it, why did you ask for it? What are you doing down there? I fell and I'm collecting myself. Ah, good girl. Ah. Why are you home so early? I thought you were going to pick up your suit. Yeah, I was, but I suddenly realized that check you put on my jacket yesterday morning was missing. You lost it then? Who knows? Huh. Is that a yes or no? I don't know. Paula, do you suppose it's in the other suit? Or maybe here in your studio. A signed blank check, too. Whoever finds it can fill in any amount he wants. Why, even a million lira. We've only got 300,000 in the bank. Oh, much more than I thought we had. Huh? I know, I know, darling. It'd be better to have a lot more. In any case, how can you find anything in this trap? Yeah. No. Gita, do get up, will you, dear? Uh, you still collecting yourself? See if you can also find Giacomino's bib. I lost it. Huh? Angela, did you give some wine to the workmen? Yes, I did. What is this thing here, huh? Ah, that's the new catalogue from Fiat. Oh. Look, now the big one, the Mille Quattro, would be just perfect for us if it only cost a million three. Yeah, we only have the three. Oh, but my mother will lend us the money. Then we can pay her back so much a month. That way we can pay on installment with the same advantage as paying cash. Don't you agree? No, my love. Besides, the point is this. It's money that isn't ours. But... Belongs to your mother. I'm not accepting it, huh? Then you don't want to? I don't want to, my love. No. Uh... <laughs> Angela! Have you found the babe yet? Finding it isn't easy, you know. I'm not going to the office this afternoon, so if you want to, you can go to the hairdresser. Oh, Signora, may I cut it short? What are you doing, Papa? Mm. Oh, what's that paper in your mouth? You're not chewing the check, are mm. you? I think it would suit you better. Uh, how come you don't go to the office this afternoon? I I have uh, too much huh? to do. I have no time with the children and everything. Just you know, look you at the house. Listen and to I... me. In all civilized families, mothers leave their babies at the nursery and go to the office. And you're not the only woman with children who works. Ah, but you don't want to send him to the nuns, do Instead you? Send him to the Montessori school. 
The only Montessori school in Rome is way up in the Geniculum. How do I take them there? Uh, take them there by car, can't you? Ah, then you think we should take the large model, huh? Oh, uh, small one. Gita. Second hand. Milo. On credit. Without seat. Why not? Isn't a small car better than nothing, I huh? I have a new bicycle. Ah, here it is. I found it. Ah, at last. It's a bit there, not to check. It's no use. I give up, Paula. I call the bank. Make your Camino bird, so they'll stop payment. Angela, did you find a check somewhere? Forget it. She doesn't even know what a check is. Melino, did you happen to see a sheet of paper long, narrow, huh? grayish, with a lot of little numbers? Huh? Gray. Me too. Ooh. Now, go and return that paper hat to that Lino. And the hammer, too. Right up. They've already cashed it. The entire 300. 7,800. How come so small an amount when they might have. <laughs> huh? That's good. Bronchi's on the left. Uh, that's what you think. <laughs> oh, what a good boy. My little bird. <laughs> down that baby. Immediately. But he hasn't learned to walk yet. Uh, yeah. hmm. How did you manage to learn to walk? <laughs> well, to be honest, I don't recall. But I guess it was sometime before I went into the army. <laughs> well, I'll tell you. You managed to by walking. Your son will manage in the same way. left alone, you feel anxiety. But when you hold him in your arms, you feel secure, which satisfies your egotism. How old is he? Uh, uh, Ten months. Ten months. And Ten still months. breastfeeding him, yes. poor little one. He should be weaned at once. And stop calling him poor little ones. <laughs> if anything, you parents are poor little ones. You treat your children as if they were dogs, if not worse. For example, sir. Yes. Sir. You must have noticed when you take your children out. He never takes them out. I thought so. Anyway, at some time or other, you must have noticed a dog being led by its owner. Yes. Me too. Well, that's at least something. Well, then, you must have noticed that when the dog stops, the master stops too and waits. But let's suppose that instead of a dog, it happened to be your son. You pull and start dragging him away. Each time you do, you're causing a trauma. She's right. However, yes. here in a short time, the child will learn how to walk the same as you and the same as me. I hope not like that. Leave them there. Don't worry about them. The less they see you, the better. Come along. Here, the children are free completely. Controlled discreetly, but free. Of course, freedom doesn't mean chaos. There are rules and regulations, but set up by the children themselves and not imposed from above, as is usually the case with parents. The Montessori method has to be applied daily by the parents. Oh, the fact is, my wife was hoping because she worked... Oh, no, no. 
please, if you think a serving girl can be trusted with the children. Or emotional grandmothers who know nothing of children today. I'm sorry, I refuse to take them. Then what do you suggest? Work and taking care of children at the same time is impossible. Motherhood is one of the most difficult jobs in the world. The energy expended by a woman taking care of three children could supply life to a city the size of Itarbo. What shall we do? Mm. Look, I... Uh, honestly, Paula, I don't know. Mm. We can't leave the people of Viterbo in the dark. Paula! Oh, Natalino. Yes? Uh, I wish you'd pay more attention to what I say. Things are not being done right here. Well, above all, the rooms are not practical for the children. Uh, the first thing, we must lower the electric light switch a minimum of half a yard. And the same thing goes for the doorknobs. So the children can switch on the light and open the doors by themselves. Eh? Children should be free to do anything they want. Gita, stop doing that! And no keys ever. You know the Montessori method, don't you? No. You must understand, for every child, a closed door is a trauma. Yes, I know, but you see... Now, here, this is yours. Thanks. Look, if I lower the doorknobs, it's impractical. It's better for the children, yes. But for the adults, look. Yeah, you're right. Put it a bit lower, even, so the servant girls could reach it, too. Huh? Melino, come on now. Stop blowing that trumpet. Do you hear me? And I want you to give back that paper hat to Natalie. No, thanks. Here, look. My hat's this one. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Nothing. Uh, well, then, all right. Make a nice estimate and give it to well, my wife. I can also huh? give her the bill for the work we did in the month of uh, February. Yes, of course. Uh, give it to her with the estimate. Oh, and by the way, don't forget to paper the walls of my wife's study with plastic. Plastic? Study. Yes, because it's going to be the children's playroom. Angela! Angela! I'm sorry, I kept you waiting. You were saying... Oh, that's me, you. Don't you fret, Signora. Little babies what's, do it all the time. What's the matter time. with your hands? Huh? It's wooden, sweetie. I shouldn't tell you this, maybe, but I'll tell you anyway. I'm an anarchist. Do all anarchists have a wooden hand? No. Only a fool like me letting a bomb explode in my hand. Paula, where's the... Papa, what's an anarchist? Oh, ask your mommy, dear. Come in, come in, please. Thank you. He's come to pay back the 7,800 lire. He's the gentleman who cashed it. You know, really? the check that you lost, he found it. Listen, how come the amount was such a small? It was enough for the rent. Hey. Of course, I would have paid it back sooner, but believe me, I didn't have it. Oh, well, then, let it go. Angela! It doesn't matter, don't worry. No, 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 Signora, I'm paying it back. I've, I've got to return oh. it. Thank you. This is uh, my lunch for today. I never possess cash like that very often. So, you see, what I mean is, if it's possible, well, to return it like this in another way, in merchandise. <laughs> At a big bargain, too. For example, these socks. I wear them myself. Uh, Take a look. In fact, I usually wear them plain. I don't like those, you see. I go for a bit of fantasy. Oh, but short socks are much more hygienic. You could take a few pairs. Do you have any ladies' underwear? No, I'm sorry, but it's an article I don't handle. Really? Are you a comrade? Sure. It's odd. Then you're a comrade, too. No. That's odd. Ouch! Oh, Milo! Nothing. <laughs> no, from you here will. to here, it's wood. But from here to here, it's me. Uh -huh. Hi, dear. I find him very bright. He loves to have fun. Where are you going? Oh, uh, anything you need. My wife's the big boss here. Glad to see you. I have the bill. Uh, they, they give it to my wife, Natalino. I'll see you later. Ciao. Oh, Signora, your husband told me to give you this. You remember the size of your husband's foot? Angela! Uh, maybe at this point I should introduce myself. My name's Romeo. It's 140,000 lira. What do you mean, 140? 
Come down to 125. Well, why should I? But pity the poor woman. But I don't see the reason. It's got to the minimum. You pay the workers. I always expect to be Come paid. On, that's uh, I don't think all that. I was looking for an old issue of Domus, the one you were asking me about yesterday. Why do you keep them in the children's playroom? I was going to take them down to the basement. I don't need them anymore. Yes, but I do, Pa. You do? Yes. Oh, well, let me find you the issue on, uh, on the highways. I read it when I, was, when I was still working in the office. It's a very new idea. I think you might find it very interesting. Let me see. Might be this one. I'd like you to read it and then read it now and then let me know what you think about it. No, Marco, not now, please. I have to help the children make pee pee. Meanwhile, my love, I could go and take a shower. What do you say? But. Yes or no? You're so stupid. Did I tell you Rossi called this morning? He said that the man... The man... The man who replaced me is... The man who replaced me is so stupid, he ought to come and take care of the children and I ought to go back to work. You ought to be happier out of it. If you only knew the headaches I'm having with my own job. Why? Huh? What happened? What do you care, my love? I just have to learn to be patient. Now, where's the liquid soap, huh? Not bit anywhere but in the bathroom. Then spray his throat with peroxide. But who is it? Little Giorgio or Sandrino? Oh, Claudio. Oh, well, we'll talk again tomorrow morning. Thank you for everything. You are an angel. Tomorrow, then. Who was it? I don't know his name. I've never asked him. Well, if you don't know the man, what you calling for? Hmm? He's huh? the employee at the, at the waking up service. Oh, what He's do you such know? a nice man. Just imagine, he has seven little boys and one little girl. Eight children. You've called an angel. Well, I don't know his name. <laughs> the first thing to call me at 6.30, back in Conangel at 7. Let me turn off the lights. Where are you going? 
turn out the light. I feel embarrassed. Well, what do you care? Well, I feel ashamed. Oh, but what's the difference? Oh, I don't need to see Come me on, now. Turn out the light. Listen. Yeah. Is it true that many husbands make up to their wives and think of a prettier woman? Yeah. No, I don't. Oh, oh, that's good. Oh, oh I wouldn't do that. I much prefer you to, to go with another uh, woman and, and think about me. A pretty woman. I don't know a pretty woman. Oh. That. Oh. Don't answer. Where the hell is it? Here. We're busy. Hello? What? Huh? Ah, ah, yes. Oh, that's good. It's the telephone man. Claudia's fever's dropped. I'm thrilled to death. Mm -hmm. Oh, listen. My husband wants to know your name. Ah, that's uh, nice. <laughs> well, uh, tomorrow at 6.30 then, huh? His name is Stefano. Lovely name. Yeah. <gasps> oh, listen, when I went to the children's room, Giacomo was uncovered oh, and surprised. Uh, uh, what was he? Now, look, man, we don't want another slip up the way we did with Giacomo. No surprises, huh? Huh? No. no, don't worry, Mike. Oh, no, don't good, worry, my love. Come Where's on. Where's that Bed, Mama. I'll take care of her. I don't know why you would allow this child to stay up so late at night. And even if she is up, she shouldn't be outside on the terrace in the middle of the night with all this humidity. No. Do you want to be alone with your thoughts or do you want to talk? I want to talk. How are things at school? Not the power keep bit my finger. It hurts me, Mommy. Hmm. We say parakeet, not parakeet. 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 Oh, Angela, where did you put? Where did you put my bath soap? The liquid one. I guess the children dropped it in the toilet. You mean they deliberately poured it? Uh, children. Granny it... brought me this painting for a birthday present, but I find it much too primitive. <laughs> She's studying painting, you know. She's quite an expert. Come here, Gita. Come, baby. Why don't you like it? Because it's so figurative. Hey, what are those big birds doing on the terrace, huh? Grandpa, it's the oh, present from Romeo to Gita. Yeah. Damn cats weren't enough. We practically got a zoo. I think the more animals we have in the house, the better. The first time Milo saw a pig, he said, no, no, the pink doggy. Well, then I feel better to have brought in this, eh? Aye. Oh, absolutely. When children see live animals, they learn how to pronounce their names properly. You're right, dear. It's Papa. <laughs> no, no, Jack Milo, it's a canary. Oh, <laughs> sweet. Why don't you all come out for lunch? Lunch is ready. Come on, darling, let's go. Lunch is Lunch is ready. Grandma, okay, so go wash your hands. And Why? don't drop the soap in the toilet. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Granny will buy it for you, Giacomino. Oh. If Granny doesn't buy it, you do it. fish with a knife. Besides, it's a lot. Let's wait for I'll serve. It would be simpler. Oh, make mine rare, Signora. And without any peppers, please. Ah. Give me the bread. Thank you. Yes, you have. It's right near you. 
this is married life. It's much, much better not to marry. He won't give it to me. Oh, Granny, uh -uh. no. That's enough. No. Children must do things by themselves. Right. Ah, Montessori. It has to be Montessori. We don't want our children brought up the way we were. Oh, the way you were. I suppose we made a bunch of it, according to you. I make the wine. <laughs> now it's me, Lord Kern. Come on, let's see. No, Eat your meat. no salad for you today. Oh, now I remember what I want to tell you. Milo has diarrhea and they've kicked out Stalin. He's been dead for three years. That's the point. Alive, they'd never have tried. Just imagine, Khrushchev talked for nine solid hours against Stalin. Granny, who's Stalin? A communist. An atheist, one who persecuted all uh, of the... See how Milo's grown up nicely. You see, the communists are a menace to... But we're socialists, Granny. It's the same. But it's not the same. Mama, do me a favor. You know, I've always leaned backwards to respect your ideas. I wish you'd do so for mine. Angel, I beg you, try not to start a political... I'm not trying to start an argument. Why is it when we're by ourselves, you always agree with me, but when we're with others... Well, of then course, it... but the others should be allowed to think as they please. Desperate in silence. I don't intend my children to be exposed to a lot of reactionary shit. Marco, not in front of them. Oh, that's all right, Mama. They have to get used to hearing everything. Oh, yes. All according to the Montessori method. Where is Grandpa? Coming, Paula. Oh, listen, make sure that... Ciao, my love. As usual, tearing down all the trees. Uh, what are you going to do about it? Yeah? I don't know. How did you do that? I guess the nail ripped it. I scratched my leg. Why did you bring the babies too, dear? Oh, I wanted to be alone with you so we could talk. Ah. Let's take a walk. But, Paula, is anything wrong? No, 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 no. Don't worry. I mean, we don't have too much money, but it isn't that. Oh, that's good. Well, my dear architect, you've knocked me up again. Another child. That's wonderful. Swiss bills. The doctor said we were not to worry. Damn it, what I 
see that doctor. I'll make him swallow every one of them. Not his fault. I just didn't use them. What if it has to be so prepared and... and the act of love becomes something dirty. It loses all its poetry. The few times I have used them, I, I felt... I felt ashamed. I felt like a whore. Well, excuse me, but would you like to be married to a whore? If she's sterile, why not? I'm not proposing anything. I only want you to consider our situation. Well, if we can't make ends meet with three children, how will we manage with four? It'll be worse. Since when did you start worrying about how we get along? The only thing you ever cared about was getting by without asking anything from anybody. Now, just leave it to me, as you always do. I'll try to cut down on expenses. To begin with, this time I'll have the baby at home. That'll save us the money for the hospital. But, Paula, money's not the question. You might wait for me, at least now that I'm pregnant. I'm waiting, but hurry up. Thank you. Uh, if you look, I think there's another one. It's a pity refusing to have a child. A pity, my dear Paola. You've had a quarrel? No, no. Everything's fine, just as it used to be. Only Marco is worried about my health. And the gynecologist, too. The says... Doctors are all alike. They just like to talk. I'm happy. I'll take care of you. What name are you going to give the baby? All my best, General. When Thank the pictures are much. developed, I'll telephone. Long Thank live His Majesty. Long live the King. This train is ten years late. How was your trip? Did you talk with King Umberto? Did you have a good time? The waste of money. Well, Papa, what were you saying? Nothing, nothing. Well, tell me, how did it go? Did you like Lisbon, huh? Lisbon is beautiful. It is, huh? Yes, beautiful. almost as if he were our child. You and I, we wanted him. So, of course, we had to call him Amadeo. Just look how much he resembles you. Don't let the children choose a military career. It has no future. And it serves nothing. The picture of the king isn't here anymore. Come on. The children are too noisy. Take them outside, will you? Here. Not her. You. I don't want to go Come on, Geeka. I want to see Grandpa. Right, let's go outside. Nino, come on, Nino. I'll take off your coat. Come along. Now, come along this way. Are you hungry? Granny has something nice for you in the kitchen. I feel it's your duty to look after everything, above all him. You mean Amadeo? Nilo? Giacomo? No, him. Marco, your husband.
father and I were the best of friends. Whatever help I can be, Mark, I'm at your beck and call. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Any problems that you have, you know where to find me at the house or office whenever you want. Thank you, Romeo. how Rome is developing southwards. With, without the faintest suggestion of decent town planning, it's just a, a monument, unscrupulous speculation. Twelve-story buildings, no gardens, no parks, no playgrounds for the children. Before the war, it was all meadows. And now it has the population density of 400 inhabitants per acre. What a waste. Twenty years we've made our city into a foul uh, mass of cement. But do you think that in other European cities things are any better? Oh, yes. I don't think I know, we darling. I'll bring you the latest news. Agreement was reached this morning on the formation of a center-left government, according to an official statement by Prime Minister Aldo Moro. At the conclusion of a meeting... If we of continue to build like this, in order to enjoy a public park, children will have to go 30 kilometers to buy subway. It doesn't even function. The trouble with you intellectuals is that you're in too much of a hurry. You know the old saying, Rome wasn't built in a day. Now, I have the greatest respect for you, uh, town planners. Town planners. But you mustn't forget that in Parliament, every day we have a thousand concrete problems to solve. Sure, sure. This is the way you solve. There. Uh, take a look at the economic miracle, the building boom. It, it looks like a cemetery, a prefabricated city of penitentiaries for life imprisonment. While we waste time discussing town planning. For 15 years, we've been talking to committees, to politicians, polemicizing writing newspaper articles, resolutions. For 15 years we've been fighting, fully, fully convinced we could bring about a change, make things better. Then we suddenly begin to realize that the only ones who've really accomplished anything at all are them, irresponsibly. Uprooting trees, destroying the landscape. But they have accomplished something. Paul, well, at least they... Orando what? Read it again, Dita. Dick, Dick, Dick. Orando. That's right. Orando. It's a geron. Orando's not a name. Are you sure of that? Orando. Why did you write Orlando? Yes, hmm? but who was Orando? What are they wooing? You must say doing. Dick, Dick, Dick. Orlando. Orando, not Orlando. Thanks. Put this on. You get yourself all dirty. What's two times three? Six. Up yours. But get rid of that cat or you'll ruin his pelt. No, you mean fur. Idiot. Big son of a, big son of a. No, don't say big son of a. No, your brothers and you mustn't. It's better not to say it. How about making that flag? Give me the clay. Here, white, green, and red. Those two colors are superfluous. The best flag for me is a bright red flag waving over the barricades. I don't know. Look it up in your notebook. I'll be right back. Oh, Gita, don't forget you have to go swimming. You must hurry up. 
Oh, I'm sorry, my darling. Were you telling me something? But if you go back and forth all day long, how mommy, can I? Mommy, mommy. Mommy, dear, you're always crying. Are you sad? No, I'm not sad. My eyes are crying. It's the first time of my life that I've lost a friend, too. Oh, good boy. Mommy. Ask your papa. He'll give you 500 mommy. years. Mommy. Four children, four teeth per month. <laughs> Come on and play a game with Papa. We'll celebrate your first fallen tooth. And now we'll sit down. Oh, the fiery horse of the tyrant flops along, flops along, while the horse of the little boy flips along, flips along. And the fiery horse of the night goes at a trot, goes at a trot. When the king goes on his horse, he gallops, 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 he gallops. When he goes to war, boom, boom, he bites the dust. Again, Papa, again. The fiery horse of the tyrant flops along, flops along, while the horse of the little boy flips along, flips along. And the fiery horse of the night goes at a trot, goes at a trot. <laughs> Poor Amadeo, come on up to Grandma, she'll teach you another one. But does your mother have to be out there day and night listening to our conversations? One of these days, I'm going to walk out bare-assed on a terrace. Why not, my love? Why not? What's the matter? I don't know. Strange odor. In fact, a big stink. Lisa. Where's the... Just a black notebook with all my addresses, huh? Papa didn't give me the money. Amadei, are you spying on your father? Darling, Papa's right. Come in. But Marco, why didn't you give him the money? Mommy? Yes, who is it? Oh, that must be Bonaria. You know, the young girl your mother brought for oh, us. That's what it was. Dinner. But she's got a suitcase full of smelly cheese. That's true, sir. Not so. Come in, Bonaria. Oh, sorry. Come on, my love. Don't be shy. Make yourself at home. You like it here. Oh, you must be tired. Why don't you take a rest and we can have a long talk, huh? Gita, show Bonaria to the room Angela used to have. Can you read? No. Oh, it doesn't matter. Amedeo has to learn, too. We'll have to do something about your clothes, huh? And about your hair. If you fix yourself up, you won't be bad looking Paula? at all. Paula. Paula. Huh? I guess you'll do for her the very same thing you did with Angela, huh? Make her study, civilize her, find her a job, so we'll be without a maid for another long stretch. Yeah. You don't expect her to be a maid all her life, do you? But why not? Don't I spend all my life in an office? And writing articles that nobody reads? Mm -hmm. And so I'm yes, supposed yes, to... my love, you're right. We. we What are you doing? Camilo, Giacomo, will you stop it? Don't worry, they don't bother me at all. How was your day? Good or bad? How can you tell the good from the bad? It's not that simple. You have to think it over and talk it out. And I don't... You must realize that I... Tomorrow I must go and talk to Gita's Latin teacher. <laughs> Your mother had another fight with Pepinetta. I'm worried about Amedeo. He looks so sad. Almost as if he knew we didn't want him. Well, dear, I guess we're both tired.
like an idiot. I fell in love with the language teacher. And then when he flunked me in Latin and Greek in June, I tried to commit suicide. <laughs> I dove into the river. <laughs> An uh, army officer saved me. Oh, once, uh, I too, in Sardinia, saved a very young man who was drowning. And the next day, I went to bed with him, you know. Hmm? No, I didn't. All I did was save the boy. <laughs> <laughs> You're really exceptional. <laughs> uh, see what I was telling you before? These blocks of apartment houses are eating up all the countryside. Still pasturing sheep around here, but in ten years, they'll be raising them on terraces. Who's that bad? Your mother didn't know about the pills. But you mustn't drive like that. When I feel good, as I do now, I like to do things I'm not supposed to. Don't you? Where are you going? I want to have a look. Why? What's so interesting? You are. But what made you want to work as a journalist, Adriana? Well, when I was in London, uh. I met a very nice boy who happened to be one. Ah. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, nothing. Just a thought. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad we met. You know, you're very lucky you didn't get married. The fish is ready, sir. Oh, yes, I'd almost forgotten about the fish. Eat mine, too. After that enormous fish soup, I couldn't eat another thing. You really don't want it? No. What a shame. They really look exceptional. But I'm afraid it's too much. Oh, I don't know. I... But why do you always say exceptional, huh? I don't know. I used to say fabulous all the time. Oh, does it bother you? No. No, no, no. I know someone who uses the phrase, I exclude it. Senator Bowley. Hmm? You know him? Know him? Well, he's the one who introduced us three months ago. Mm. Mm. He's a slob. Well, it seems that people don't come here just to eat. I saw those two going upstairs when we arrived. What did you mean, I'm lucky not to be married? Were you forced into marriage or something? No, no. No, it's a, a, no. No, you see, it's like this. It ends up that finally the family is nothing but a problem of children. Clothing and feeding them. Education, mostly. Besides, a lot of other problems. For example, the problem of my own personal life, my work, my ideas, the need for discussion. Nothing. The only problem being the baby's rights to a clean rear end. Don't you realize that in Italy, the family is the only institution that counts? The only flag we have left to rally around. But do you think one must give up everything for the family, make compromises, surrender unconditionally? No, I don't. I just don't have a family, that's all. I suppose... You already have. Break it up. Oh, I hope this is the last fish I'm going to eat for a very long time. Is that you, my love? Yes, dear. Below, don't spit in the coffee pot. When Aria's fiancé came to town, Sir Romeo was very kind and offered to stay for dinner and help with the children. Giacomino, you can take the thermometer out now. His face was a little flushed. I hope he hasn't got any fever. You're not hungry tonight? Yeah, yes, well, uh, uh, more or less. You'll be hungry when you know what's for dinner. Grilled codfish. Want another one? No, no, please. That's enough.
put in your mouth first. No. Yeah. Off my appetite. It's 102. Let's see. Look at him. He's covered with red spots. He's got the measles. What do we do to prevent contagion? As far as I'm concerned, there's nothing to worry about. I had measles early in life. Well, you're immune then, huh? Maybe Mother can take any other children. And in 10 days, lose 10 years of Montessori training. Oh, well. No, damn it, this time I won't. It's the fourth infectious disease in a year. Come on. Milo. Yes, Milo, I had the Milo. measles. Before, comment. Philip. You ate already. No. I did. And that'll be the end of that. Yeah. Finish it. You see, at supper, I ate a bit on the light side. I wanted there to be enough for the babies. Don't misunderstand. For me, they're the same as if they're my own children. Oh, come on, children. Be good. Get into bed. Me, low. Can't you leave that Madonna alone? That football hero's an obsession. I'm an atheist. Let me in, too. Come on. Get in. When this is over, don't you think it might be a good idea to take them to the sea for two or three months? No, 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 huh? Mm -hmm. I guess so, yes. Hey, don't fall the uh, Where am I going? Uh, yes, I'll take care of you, too. Stop it. If our friend Romeo on, wants to stay here me. also, no. I could go to a hotel, yeah, perhaps. Yeah, you're the one who's here. Yeah, Montessori Hilton. Stop it. Tell me, Mama. Uh, I don't know when they returned. Uh, yes, Mama. Uh, of course, Mama. Sure. Yeah, yes. Tell me. Huh? What? Yeah, but I think the beach is the best thing for children. Cabinetta. No, 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 no. Don't put it on. I give her my best. Huh? I can't. I've got to go to the office today. Yes. Uh, why? Is she staying home today? About time she got some sense, huh? Mama, there's nothing I can do with Pepinetta. It's useless. I'm a brother. you said was always around. This is him, all right. It is. Oh, then I want to meet him. No, where are you going? Come back. Come back. How much for that underwear? Bargain. For you, 3,005. 2,000, all right. My dear lady, please don't think I've come here for a gorgeous suntan. I'm a worker. Do you know Marco Flores? Do I know him? You might say I'm part of the family. You know, they want me to stay around their house all day long, but that's impossible. After all, I have my own business to think of. Oh, I see. Tell me, are you a comrade? No, not yet. I'm thinking about it. All right, give me a thousand. What do you think of Comrade Flores? How did you ever get to know Comrade Flores? We're a childhood friend. Excuse me, but for a comrade, you're a little dangerous. But Marco is a nice, decent person. Hmm. Yes. I'm sure he is, I suppose. But it's his wife, Paula. It's his wife. See? Well, she. She's the one who's a nice, decent woman. Here's a present for you. Huh? Uh, how'd it go? Well, we talked about you. Good or bad? Bad, dear. But I didn't agree. 
Listen, may I ask you something? No. Why is it you've never asked me to go to bed with you? But is it the usual thing? Yes. Sometimes it is. I saw it. It's mine. I caught it by myself. Good for you. Mommy! Yeah, where do I put these bathrobes? In the bathroom. And remember to put the octopus in the bathtub. Joe, my love, how are you? Were you surprised to see us? <laughs> All right. I, I'll get rid of this thing, and then I, I'll tell you everything that happened. If you only knew. Benaria, put the uh, big suitcase in the children's room. Hey, if you got anything to eat, I gotta go out right away. Yes, ready. Damn it. Where have my cigarettes disappeared to? Meanwhile, did you take the spears? Yes, and the pins too. Somebody go upstairs to Grandma to get the key for the big trunk in the basement, and while you're at it, you can also bring the cat down. Oh, Manco, that's Bonaria's mother. She's come to Rome for a hernia operation. Pleasure. I was the one who convinced her she didn't want to come. She'd be staying with us for a few days before she entered the hospital. That's very nice. No, rest comfortably. Just make yourself at home. Has anybody seen the keys of the big closet? <laughs> well, thanks a lot, Miss Belly Cheese. Close the door. Hmm? Oh. So sorry. Good morning, sir. Uh, but who? Why, it's Benaria. Ciao, Papa. Hello, yes. Ciao, get, uh, how are Hi. you? You're pretty in that. Yes, we just got that. Ciao, Papa. Amilo, ciao, listen. Oh, don't move, my love. I got on the phone. Well, I don't know. Six pairs of men's wooden underwear. Long ones. Oh, well, fine. Bring them along. Ciao, uh, ciao. Listen, Amadeo, listen. I can't now. I'm busy. Sorry? Children, undress and get into the bathtub. And I'll come and scrub you. The and in the bathtub. Uh, put it in the bidet. Mommy, he's about to bring along the in the I can't find Amadeo's blue shirt. Hello? Who is it? Oh, ciao. I'm glad you called. Oh, are they back? Did I work in school books? Thanks, Milo. Sakuro, did, you... did you want to tell me something? Well, I'm not going to bring oh. up everything. Nothing particular. Don't forget to call Granny to say hello. I'm just a little... Where is the mother's from the dude's bed? see it. Who? From the windows across the street. <laughs> but there isn't anybody there, love. Well, you might at least put on something instead of offering a free show. I might as well sell tickets and go into business. All right, I'm sorry. Uh, putting on my shirt, that's a bright idea. Don't worry, I'm not wearing any perfume today. What are you oh, looking for? What have you done with the cigarettes? Hmm? There's a <laughs> supermarket under here. But can't you be more orderly? You're no, better. I'm happy like that. Oh, here they are. Just as I'm happy with nothing on. Thanks. Oh, where's the lighter? I just gave it to you. Oh, here. Thanks. 
I don't really think you feel at ease with me. You're on pins and needles. No, no, I'm getting used to it. It's just that I think that I could talk to you about it. Oh, yes. Uh, hmm? But, darling, I know it all by heart. You've been talking about it ever since we first met. I know you have problems. But the most I can do is solve the problems of a wife. But what's it got to do with my wife? I didn't mean your wife. It's you who always talks about her. I meant your other problems. Your, your work, your political problems. I'm not the head of state. I'd like to be, but I'm not. I can't be helpful to you at all. Believe me, Marco. You don't even need me. The truth is, you're still in love with your wife. How can I make you understand? <laughs> What's the matter? Nothing. Nothing. It's just that there are hairpins all over. You're really unlucky. Gita, for the coffee. Giacomo has already had his. This is for Milo. This is for Amedeo. This is for Grandma Luisa. And this is for you. No, thank you, Mommy. No carbohydrates for me. Oh! Oh, no! Oh. Children, I've already asked you. Please be quiet. Your father's not in the mood. Oh. How do you feel? Better, better. Why don't you rest a little longer? No, the appointment's important. Can't be too late. Maybe if you counted after company, it would make it easier. That's a little far. I hope I can be ready in time. Oh, we could give a lift to Romeo. He has to go to the hospital for an analysis. Huh? I've prepared a nice hot bath for you. He doesn't love. How do you know? When a young girl is afraid to gain weight. Oh, fancy that. And who's the son-in-law? I don't know yet. Milo, you pro Don't you remember? You promised not to fight for at least three days. Come on. Yes, Friday to Monday. Today is Tuesday. Oh, you're right. Is it my fault that it's Tuesday? Well, he's right, too. Ali, come on. Go to your grandmother. Be Hello. good. Stop. Yes, I told you to stop it. Ali, oh. Romeo, my love, did you have some cake? Yes, thank you. Thank uh, you very much. I'm a deal. Go see what your papa wants. Camilo, Giacomo, right. come over here. I want you to answer my question. Well, we'll begin at the beginning. You. Who created you? The Lord. Yep. Oh, what a dirty thing to tell a kid. Paula. Will you make me a beard, Papa? Yeah. You have tears in your eyes. Huh? Did he say something that moved you? Oh, this blade's no damn good. I'm hacking myself to pieces. That hurts like hell. Maybe it's because I used it to sharpen my colored pencil. <laughs> Paula! This water's getting cold. Paula, I'm sure I saw a new blade somewhere around here. Yes, Pepina, Dye, yes, but listen, I really think you shouldn't lose it. They're not here. Oh, here they are, all three. We can read these. Come on. Paula, you mind if I have a little privacy? Papa Montessori says that clothes don't cause a trauma. Yes, but right now it's me who's having a trauma. I'll show you Montessori. Oh, Pepin. Pepineda, I wouldn't lose a job like that if I were you. I think it's a mistake. It matter if they're only men. It's better. Do you want me to go with you? Yes. Yes, she is here. Do you want to speak to her? All right, I'll go and get her. Oh, Romeo, it's very kind of you to remember. Yeah. Mama, telephone. Milo, I told you not to kiss me. You never wash your feet, do you? Amedeo, my love. Hello. Yes, dear. You give it too much importance. Gita, you know, I was thinking we should... Yes. Yes. So did you ask Paula? Who's 
seen my tennis racket. Milo, don't play tennis in the house. I'll open it. No, it's my turn. No, it's my turn. No. You open it the last time. Oh, children, every time the door is... Milo, what did you do that for? I'm well, well, well. well. I got here first. Children, come on, stop oh, it. Stop it. Signora, no milk. Romeo. Uh, there's another strike. Yes. And instead of carrots, I got uh, salad. Yes. And instead of apples, I got oranges. Yes, that's I right. I couldn't find that's anything right, yes. in the market today. Nailed it right into my hand. No, no, I'll come do boys, it. don't <laughs> fight. All the things to have. Oh, uh, where's the jacket of my new suit? I gotta go out. I'm done in the medicine chest for... Ah! Yes, My fault. I left the top down. Now I can't drive you. Bernardi, I'll get you. Take them and get them. Bye, Marcus. Go and get the umbrella. Just a moment. I'm coming down to Hello? Yes, I'll call him. Marco! Yes. Italia Nuova. No, say I'm not in. Not in. Uh, it's the office. Well, what if it is the association? Oh, yeah, little things they have to telephone me. I'm so sorry, but the architect already went out, sir. There. So. Romeo, will you take care of this child, please? I have to get dressed. You know my appointment was here. I looked in your appointment book. Oh, I'm even watched now. Oh, I could say anything but not that. You know very well I don't watch you. I decided long ago not to do that. Why didn't you bring along one of the children? Oh, they had some studying to do. Anyway, I wanted to be alone with you so we could talk. Uh, let's take a walk. Oh, you're not pregnant, are you? By whom, my love? By whom? Why don't you call the office? You know, they've tried to get you three times. Who gives a damn? Let them phone. Anyway, I'm resigning. What? Yes, I'm resigning. I'm resigning. Why should I go on doing something? It's of no use to anyone. There's prosperity around. I want to enjoy that prosperity, too. You can't spend a lifetime as an intellectual with patches on your ass when there are others who earn millions. You know how much I'd get if I accepted the job I was just offered? With the bonus at the end of the year, sure. paid vacation. Yeah, that's right. Try and be funny. Meanwhile, the family's on my back. Can't you realize I'm not a hero? I'm a father of a family. Maybe if I wasn't, I, I could have become somebody important. Not anymore. It's too late. I gave up whatever chance I might have had when I got married. When I had... When you let me have so many children in a row. I 
never wanted to be a slave to anyone, and here I am, a slave to the family. Now I'm tired of it. Sick and tired of constantly hearing myself criticized and disapproved of in my own house. All right, say what's on your mind. Say that you're right and I'm wrong. Let me try to understand. You are just now realizing that there are people who make money doing nothing? I knew that before I married you. In any case, you're absolutely free. If you want to prostitute yourself, if you want to leave a job you believe in in order to make more money, go right ahead. If that's what you really want. Only have the courage to accept the responsibility for your acts and don't blame your family and your duty towards your children. Why do you think I married you? Because you were tall and dark and handsome? I couldn't care less. Huh? I married you because of your ideas. Because of the things you stood for. And now, after 14 years, you've decided to switch camp. And what am I to do? Press a button and change ideas again? No. You taught me to believe in things that seemed right. I'm sorry, but I shall go on believing in them. And then again, when things go wrong, you can always distract yourself by falling in love with another woman. But I can't. I know myself too well. I couldn't fall in love again. But if you change, if you become what you were saying, then be careful. I don't know what will happen, how it will end. I don't know. Now do what you want. You're damn right I'll do what I want. Do you think you can convince me by repeating a lot of stale ideas that mean nothing? What do you want? Get out of here. Go make love to your girls if you have one. Can't you make it any more, Grandpa? Son of a... Yeah, one of these days, I'm going to throw a bomb. 
Love, why are you so complicated? Why don't you just say that he kicked you? No, but I don't speak any German. How can I give an interview? Hmm? Tomorrow at the association. No, 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 no. Uh, listen, have a call here around 9.30. Yes, perfect. Ciao, Ow! ciao. Paula, what are you uh, doing? You want something, my love? Why did you put out the light? I want some more coffee. Oh. And have them keep still, will you? After the beach, they ought to be worn out, no? Huh? Like hell they are. Right away. Giacomo, how many times have I told you not to swing on that chandelier? Lots of times. Paula, will you answer the damn telephone? Hello? Oh, yes, I'll call her right away. Gita, telephone. Yes, Carlos? Listening to the blockers on the radio. Gita, hear I it? I see you're disturbing your father. Take it out. I'll be with you in a moment. Paula, I'd like to have that coffee. Papa, is the turtle male or female? Third sex. And what's the third set? Don't ask Mommy. Paula, tell Amadeo what he wants to know about turtles. I've got to finish this article. Oh, please, the door. Listen, I hope... When I grow up, I'm going to win the Davis Cup. Work too hard. You ought to take it easy. At least on Sunday. You know, we ought to take care of our health a little more. The children are growing up. Even Amadeo doesn't wet his bed anymore. In a few years' time, I won't have anything to do except take care of you, I guess. When that day comes, I want to find my husband in good shape. Huh. Young as ever. We could take a trip, you know, like on a honeymoon. Who knows, we could have a fifth experience. Oh, no. I have such a longing to be pregnant again. Otherwise, what am I good for? No, no, no. Better just forget that. <laughs> yes. You're right, far is enough. Thursday, I have to take Gita to the doctor for an examination. Mm. She's been irritable lately. Why don't you come with us? I think you're a little run down. The doctor could give you something. What happened? Giacomo fell down with a whole chandelier. Huh? Giacomo, are you hurt? No, I'm all right. Oh, why don't you ever listen to me? simple case of a state of hypersensitivity typical of the period your daughter is going through now. Her name's Margarita, isn't Gita. it? Well, nothing to worry about. Oh, I see. I understand. About your husband, I assure you, I've never seen a man in better health, nor with nerves so sound. Perhaps it works a bit too much, but who doesn't? We should all pay more attention to our health. Oh, that's good. That's lucky. Well. What's the matter? You upset? You ought to be very glad, I should think. Oh, I am, I am. Believe me, I am. It's just that I've been so worried about him lately. <laughs> Suddenly, the good news. If there was anything wrong with Marco, <laughs> I should get sick myself. I don't know how we would manage if he became seriously ill. I don't know what we would do. I assure you, he's in perfect health. Take my word for it. Oh, oh I'm so relieved. I'm so relieved. He's such a good man, you know. You, you ought to know him better, Doctor. I was just thinking, one of these evenings, why don't you come for dinner with your wife? 
was really feeling terrible just now that he's starting to find pride in his work. Oh, but you're not just telling me that in order to quieten me, are you? No, not at all. He's such a good father. Oh, but he's more than a father. And we are so proud of him, the children and I. There are four of them, you know. That's a lot. And it's all to his credit that they've grown up so sound and so healthy. Gita as the eldest. She's a bit naive, you know, like Marilyn Monroe was. <laughs> oh, I hope she doesn't turn up into prostitutes. Though, you know, I rather like prostitutes. I mean, they, they meet a lot of people. And then there are three boys. Tell me, Doctor, Giacomo's second testicle hasn't come down yet. Do you think it will come down? Do you think it will? Why are you looking at me like that? Doctor, say something. I, I, I assure you, I, I'm fine. It's just that I've been so worried about him. I'm, I'm so relieved. I'm so happy that you. I'm so happy that he's well. I'm just, I'm just so relieved. And you know, I'm so happy. You know how it is when you're... <gasps> oh, Doctor. How's Signora Flores today? Much better and better. Did they give her the three o'clock injection? Of course they did. Why shouldn't they? But, Doctor, why don't you give her the injection? I don't trust nuns. I don't think they're good nurses. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, why not? <laughs> I thought... <laughs> oh, I don't know, Steph. I know you... You could buy her a nice stereo set. That would be a little bit more expensive. Sit down. But you could buy it in installments. Huh? When is your cousin getting married? Ah, I'm afraid I won't be able to go. Goodbye, then. I'll talk to you tomorrow, then. Huh? What? No! I don't need to wake up early here. Unfortunately, I can sleep all I want. Goodbye. Romeo. I also brought you some stockings. The long kind, they're all wool. Hope you don't mind if they're men's stockings. <laughs> oh, Romeo, that is kind of you. Thank you. What's she got? 101. You shouldn't tire her too much. She needs rest. Oh, no, no, sister. Please don't worry. I only feel good when I have people to talk to. Listen, she hurt much when she gives you the injection? No, no. She's very good at it. Romeo, will you find a chair for this lady? Who's she? She's a patient like me. Only she's getting better. <laughs> she a comrade? Yes. <laughs> Bonaria, I really think you ought to go home. The children are all alone. Huh? Your husband's there. They're not alone. Well, he may need something too. The poor darling man.
Giacomino. Gita, Milo. It's a fuck. Well, I couldn't hear you. Morning. Morning. Let me see now. Ah, yes. Marco Flores. Huh? Are you the head of the family? Are you the head of the family? Huh? 